a phone call at last between Qatar and Bahrain. Qatar is reportedly in talks to join Total Energy's $27 billion energy project in Iraq. And here's the breakdown of some of the changes for the next four academic calendars in Qatar. Finally, Qatari champion racer Nasr al Atiya eyes yet another title at the Oman Rally. Hi, it's Fatma, and you're watching the roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Ikhtamim bin Hamad Al Thani and Bahrain's Crown Prince Salman Al Khalifa discussed quote outstanding issues between both countries in the first such high level phone call since the region's worst diplomatic rift. The phone call came just days after Sheikh Tamim's second meeting with Bahrain's King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa since the 2017 GCC crisis. While the rift came to a halt in 2021, prospects for rapprochement between Doha and Manama have largely remained unclear, especially since relations with the remaining blockading countries have seen significant progress. Analysts say this could be a step towards resuming relations. And now, Qatar is reportedly in talks to buy a part in the $27 billion cluster of energy projects in Iraq owned by the French business Total Energies. Qatar Energy is keen on acquiring around 30% of the project, looking to favor a partnership in order to lower the risk in Iraq. No official comment has yet been made, but Reuters cited sources close to the matter. Now, authorities have confirmed Qatar's school calendar for the next four academic years has been approved by the Education Ministry. This year's school year will begin on August 27, 2023. For this year, one of the changes include moving the second round exams from the current pre-summer vacation period to the beginning of the school year. Three days have also been allocated for training and professional development for staff during the first week of the first semester of every academic year. For more information, head over to our website. And in sports, Qatar's crown athlete Nasser Saleh al Atiya is back on the dunes at the 2023 Amman International Rally. Tackling a route of more than 600 kilometers, the prince of Dunes will be joined by his longtime co-driver in hopes of defending his 2021 championship. The tournament kicks off on Thursday and will include nine competing nations. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.